Happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee from creativelyyours.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and very excited that you're joining me today for our paper crafting fun. Yay, 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 yay. So typically I would be live with you on YouTube, but this week I am still on vacation. And so this is being pre-recorded, but we'll uh, go live for you on Tuesday, June 6th. Can't believe it's June already. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I have a beautiful project. Um, I think it's cheerful um, using the cheerful daisies stamp set. So this is the uh, featured suite that we are uh, doing this month for our all-star tutorial bundle, which you can earn for free from me with a $50 order before shipping and tax. Or if you prefer to purchase the tutorial individually, you can, it's $15, but get it for free. It's the better way to go, right? So I have a sneak peek behind me. These are the cards that we are making in our upcoming online card class, bingo and card class. Uh, that registration closes on June 10th and we will play bingo on June 24th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so we play bingo for about an hour and then we uh, make our cards for about an hour. So it's about a two hour event. And then sometimes we stay on and chat, but you don't have to do that. All right, perfect. Let's switch over and get started on our paper crafting fun. Yay, there we go, here we go, here we go. So again, we are featuring the Cheerful Daisies stamp set. Let's see if I can pull up the suite in the catalog and show you guys that as well, in case you're not familiar with this one. There's probably been a ton of samples online because this is one of the stamp sets that we were able to pre-order as a demonstrator. So that's one of our fun perks. So this is the product suite and it's, Gorgeous. Now, I went totally rogue and chose different colors and different pattern paper um, to kind of show you that this is fun. If, if these colors don't speak to you, then you can do these in other colors. So we are going to use the featured stamp and die bundle for this project today. Okay, so what are we making? We are making this. Let me bring it in. This card right here. Do you like it? I think it's kind of fun. So uh, mixing in pool party with bubble bath and pretty peacock. So I got this off of my color coach. Let's see if I've got that handy and I can show you what I mean. So there is a free uh, downloadable on my website um, for a color coach. So you can find it. It's got where the new colors are listed. And let's see if I can find the card because of course I changed this already. And let's see which card it was on. And of course, finding that because I didn't have it saved to that one. Here we go. Yeah, it was on the bubble bath card. So I knew I wanted to pull in this designer paper. This uh, is the um, Delightfully Eclectic. And look, if I go to the bubble bath uh, card, I could see bubble bath, pretty peacock, and pool party are great colors together. And they sure are. I love them. So if you haven't downloaded your free color coach, please go out and do that. Uh, it's a handy reference tool. All right, so let's get started with this one. Move that out of our way. So our stamping today is pretty easy. It's more about die cutting. So let's pull in our basic white cardstock. And then I've already die cut these layers, but I wanna take you through what I did. So this is the around the bend, yes, around the bend die. So these are the ones that I use to create this. So what I've done, so this top layer here, I took this die, let's see if I can get that off the card. I took this die and laid it on the paper and die cut it. So this is actually my trash, right? I'm gonna get rid of that. But I wanted you to see how I got my shape on that, okay? And we're gonna use this on, on many of them. Next, I die cut my bubble bath cardstock and that one I used this die on, okay? Next, I cut the heart print and I used this die, but I kind of pieced it together. So I, I ran it through like this and then I kind of moved it down and overlapped and ran it through. And then I came back and trimmed a little because I did not get it lined up very well. And I didn't want you to think that that was super easy to do. So I wanted to tell you my secret there, <laughs> right? Divulge the dirt. All right, and then this bottom layer here, you can see I did the same thing. So you could change the um, shape of this just by the angle that you put it down. So I've got it there and then I rotated it and did it here to do the bottom there. So that's how I got all those pieces die cut, right? And then these hearts, I love that you can do them all at once. And I actually already have the hearts die cut in there. I put adhesive sheet on the back of the cardstock and I want the middle three 
for this project. So just gonna poke those out of the die. I let them stay in there. Sometimes they stick in the die, sometimes they don't. Those this time it did. Sometimes with the adhesive sheet, it that causes that to happen. So um, so you might have to poke those out. Um, if things are sticking in your diet a lot, run them with some wax paper and that will kind of help release those back out. Okay, let me get that out of the way. All right, we are ready to start building our layers. So what I'm gonna do, and I've got these long. I left these, um, they were two inch by six inch strips and I left them long so that I could adjust based on the angle I wanted to see, right? So like maybe I want a little more curve or maybe I want it a little flatter. You can decide what you wanna do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to run some adhesive on the back of this. I'm gonna lay this down, kind of eyeballing where I want it to be. Mm, let's go about right there. Why not, right? Okay, and let's do the same thing. This next layer, we'll put some along the curve. And some along the flat. Now, if you wanted to put your silicone craft sheet under while you're doing this, you totally can do that. Let's do that. Okay. And I love that this peacock has little random pink hearts in it. So there again, get some adhesive. And I think I'm going to slide this one pretty far over, right? Why not? Change it up each time, right? And we'll just peel those off. With our trash. Run these along. All right. Now I can only go up so high on this one, depending on what I want to do here. But maybe we'll do that. That looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Maybe a little crooked. See if I can slide it just a smidge. And a little straighter. Since it is a stripe, you'll be able to see it a little bit. Okay, so I've kind of glued these down to my table. You could put your silicone craft sheet under there and you won't have that happen. So now I just need to trim away all this excess paper that I don't need sticking outside. So I'm flipping it over and I'm just going to trim these away. Now you could put this on your paper trimmer if you prefer. Um, I don't like to get the adhesive on my paper trimmer if I can avoid it. So I don't like to do it that way, but you could. You definitely could. It's a little thick right there in the middle because of all the overlapping of those layers, but still not difficult to cut. All right, perfect. So now we have a fun design in the background. Kind of neat, right? I like it. All right, let's go ahead and adhere this to our bubble bath layer. Looks like I'm going to run out of adhesive. Hopefully not before we're done with today's project. If so, I can run and get another one. All righty. And then let's grab my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half. So this is pool party and I'm doing a top fold card. That seems to be my mood lately, doing a top fold card. All right, and then let's pop this up with some dimensionals right on the card front there. Let's see if I've got some regular ones, searching through. Okay. Got backing papers off. So then now I can just lay this right down on my card front. And then you could really decorate this with anything. I I just, I think that you could really use just about any elements that you want to use, right? Because it's, it's so versatile. Okay, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to bring in my daisy, uh, my daisy dies. And I, I went ahead and die cut this already. So this is on Pretty Peacock and I put backing paper. So I have adhesive sheet on the back and die cut it. So I am just going to hopefully peel this out. I may need to do it from the back, right? I want this backing paper to release and that's going to make that sticky. And that makes it super easy to put it down. So one piece stuck in there, but that's no big deal. I can stick that to my finger and get that off, right? So then I'm going to place this on my card base. I just kind of give that a little push. And I don't have any oozing glue. And voila, all done. Yay! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, next. I went ahead and die cut some daisies. So this one is this cluster of three, right? So it cu cuts out all three. I put it on the edge of my paper and got two. 
And then I cut out this one and this one, which are the details to go on top of it. Now, I'm going to clip this apart. You could use it all clustered together, but I'm going to clip it apart because I want to be able to orient my uh, flowers however I want them, right? I may not want that next to each other like this. So I'm just going to clip them apart and use them individually. Now, if you want to poke out all the little bits, uh, if you've got some bits stuck in, you can. I, I actually am just going to leave that alone. If the bits are in there, the bits are in there, right? And then we'll take out, I will take out these because this adds a little more personality. And I love that this die, uh, I don't know if you can see it in camera, but it has nice, like it puts some texture lines in there, which is kind of fun. Adds a little bit more to your die cut image. It's amazing to me um, what we can do with die cuts this day and age, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna take these pieces here and a little bit of liquid glue. There we go, getting that running out. I'm gonna put some liquid glue on this. Now this is another um, element that would be great if you let your glue dry just a smidge before doing your layers. So maybe we'll do that. I'll put that glue on that one and put a little bit of liquid glue on this one. You know, you use the amount of glue that makes you happy. Now I could have also cut these out with adhesive sheets. Um, but since they weren't so small and delicate, I felt like I could do it without the adhesive sheet. So while that's sitting for just a moment, let's go ahead and put these little hearts down. So these have adhesive sheet on the back. And I'm just going to use my take your pick, kind of help me grab that off the back and put these little hearts right in this curve. How cute is that? I think that's fun. Here's my main camera. Ah, look at that. So this is the thing that happens to me. I touch something and it sticks to me and... Did you see that piece disappear and, and end up sticking in my hand? <laughs> yes. I don't have the patience. All right, there's heart two, and let's get a third heart on there. If I can grab it. Get our backing paper off. All right, there we go. And we'll place this one down. Super cute. Just adding those little hearts. I think that's fun. All right, so hopefully this is dried enough that it, we're not gonna get too much oozing as we lay this down. So I'm just gonna line this up. And so it's just gonna give this, you know, it's white on white, but it's gonna give this nice extra texture and depth um, by, by layering those uh, dies together, those die cut pieces together. So the same thing on this one. It's funny, when I first started using this set of dies, I had trouble lining up those um, images, but now they seem to come pretty well. I think it's just a matter of practice. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of Wingastella to the center of these flowers. You don't have to, but why not add a little bling a bling, right? We could add color, but I felt like I wanted to leave the color uh, combination that I had alone and put that on here. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these down. I'm going to adhere the big one down with some liquid glue. I've got Plenty of space to do that. Just put a little bit on the back. Okay. And then we'll layer this right down. I'll give that a hold for just a moment. Perfect. And then this one, I'm actually going to put a dimensional on the back. So if you poked out all the bits in the center, it might show through, and that's fine. But that's part of the reason I didn't poke out all the little bits because I knew I was going to put this there, right? And so it's fine to leave them in. And then I could pop that up right there. Super cute. All right, let's add our sentiments. So I have chosen just a uh, little 3 8 strip of, of tool party paper. And then I am going to stamp You Made My Day on that with Pretty Peacock ink. Looks like I need to uh, spend some time with a spoon and re-inking my pad here. Kind of evening that out. Okay. Great. And then I can just clip this apart and put this right down on my card base. All right. So let's just clip that off. You don't have to clip them apart if you don't want to. 
But I think this is kind of a fun way to put your sentiment on. Okay, good deal. So you can choose to use foam strips. I think that's what I used on this. Or mini dimensionals. Looks like I used um, actually the edge of a dimensional sheet. So let's do that. I'll show you that. See what I've got here. Choose the mini edge. So one nice thing about mini dimensionals is that they have a wide edge on the ends. Um, now, I think that's a little too wide for this. So I might not want to do this. I might want to use my regular. Yeah, I think it's a little too wide. Let me go back to the regular ones and use the edge on it. So I'm going to use these skinnier edges on the side. So you can use 100% of your dimensional feet. You don't have to waste any of that, which I love. All right, so let's put a piece on the back of there. Now, I probably could just use mini, regular mini dimensionals on this and not do what I'm doing. So either way, whatever, whatever makes sense to you is what my recommendation is. It gives it a nice, um, nice sturdy base here. All right, good deal. Let's take our backing paper off. We'll go ahead and build this. So we've got the U. And then hopefully this is made. Yes, we'll double check it before we put it down. So you can angle them different ways. You could spread them out. You can make them closer together. Whatever really makes you happy is what you can do. Right? Just a fun way to put your elements out. Super cute. All right, let's add some bling. So I am going to bring in the pastel adhesive back jet sequins. Um, so these carried over from the mini catalog. So you may already have some of these if you haven't placed an order yet out of the catalog. And I'm going to be a little excessive. I'm going to use all little ones. You don't have to do it that way, but I'm going to use all little ones. And I'm going to put five. Yep, five. Five of them on there. Just, you know, a fun little sprinkling down the side. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So, of course, we want to bring our design to the inside. So, on the inside of the card, I stamped the sentiment up in the corner, and then I brought that same curvy designer paper to the bottom just to kind of bring that all together. So, let's do that. So, here again, you can see I've already die cut this, and I cut it a little deeper, make it a little skinnier. And I'm going to put that on last. I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment first, just in case I mess it up, right? We can flip it over if we need to. We mess it up. Bring back in our pretty peacock ink pad. And ink up our sentiment. And I have no idea if I'm straight. Doesn't look bad. <laughs> I'll take it. Ah, too funny. All right, and then same thing that we did before. We're just going to put some adhesive along the curve of this. Silicone graph sheet, where are you? There it is. So when my adhesive stops running, I can just run it on my silicone craft sheet and it works again. So if you have not transitioned over to stamp and seal yet, I highly recommend giving it a go, but you need an uh, you need a silicone craft sheet. It will make Life easier and much less frustrating um, when the tape runner stops working. Because what happens is when you use it, it's so sticky and it will sometimes pull tape further down off the roll. And so I, when I first started using it, I was constantly pushing that forward to try to find the tape again. But now um, I don't have that issue. If it does that, I just run it on a silicone craft sheet and it's working fine again. So, all right, perfect. That's our inside layer. Let's go ahead and put this down. And then we are finished with today's project. Super cute, right? I hope that you guys love it and we'll give this one a try. Yes? All right, don't forget, uh, we've got bingo registration open through the 10th of June. 
Uh, we also have registration open for our next Cultivated Creativity. Uh, we are featuring the Le Shops uh, suite there and uh, Maker's Mojo. Maker's Mojo is happening in July. So registration is going on for that as well. So lots of things going on that I hope you'll join me for. So get on my email list if you're not already there. Uh, there is a link in the uh, video description. If you expand it to show more, scroll down, you'll be able to see that. And again, you'll have a complete supply list. You can just click on that and add any items you need to your cart, as well as the cut dimension so that you can recreate this project on your own today. All right. Thanks so much. And I hope to see you again next Tuesday. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content and share it with your crafty friends. All right. Bye for now.